So Escape from Tarkov has just wiped and with it comes something that the community has been crying out for for literally years and that is custom presets. Now on the surface of things this really doesn't sound that glamorous however in today's Tarkov tips and tricks video I'm going to show you exactly how you can get the best out of this new system and save yourself literally hundreds of hours in your stash. And before you know it you'll be going back to just dying straight away and then spending all your time in the matching queues. But that's besides the point. Today I really want to get across how how awesome this new feature is and ultimately the utility that it has. So first and foremost there is a whole new system in the UI that I'm sure if you've played the game already you already have noticed and that is like this. You can choose your headwear, you can see what's exactly in your stash, you can choose literally everything, your tactical rig, your backpack, your weapons and you don't have to actually search through your actual stash. You can just look at it and equip it straight from the menu. So with that in mind we can set up one of our first presets as something that we can use as basically like a this is how I'm going to run most of my raids at the moment and I can give you a quick example of what that sort of looks like now when you're building that preset. So for example, if I want to use my earpieces and use the GSSH, basically you want to make it so that it's something that you can now buy off of the traders that you currently have available. I like the GSSH, many people prefer the contacts, I like them because I'm used to them basically, so choose whatever you like. And then face cover, I'm going to go with the balaclava because it's easily accessible. Tactical rig, I'm using this new Type 56 cheek on because I love these slots and it's cheap and readily available. And then for my body armor, I'm going to go with the Cora Kulan and then backpacks, I'm just going to go with the MB. SS. Oh, get that out of there. And then all you have to do is set up your pouches how you want them to look when you go into raid. So if I had an CMS in here with a Salua, S March in my pockets, and an A2, find that, find that. And then basically what we can do is save that, and we're just going to call this basic raid. So say you get back out of a raid and you want to get straight back into the action, well this preset system can also work in your favour then as well. If you don't want to go through sorting everything out, trying to get it to fit, trying to see what you want to sell, you want to save all of that until later, maybe your friends have been waiting for you to get out of this raid and you just want to get back into the action, well the same thing applies. Go on your list of kits, basic raid, equip, and then bam, you're back to square one straight away and you can get straight back into the action. This is going to save you so much time and it is so incredibly useful. I can't believe that more people aren't using it. Like literally I'm watching streams and I'm watching my friends play and literally no one is using this to its full capability. Now obviously I haven't put a gun on here and this is because guns are something that are going to just vary from raid to raid. Similarly I haven't added the ammo in my secure container. I'm going to do this on a raid to raid basis but with this new system where you can just choose what you want, literally all you have to do is choose that, choose your sidearm if you want one and then add some ammo into there and you're good to go. This saves an incredible amount of time. Now, you might be thinking, well, what if I don't have any of this available? For example, what if I don't have one of these armors? So well, for example, I've got another one set up here for when I want to do my Mosin raids. And when I click equipped, it's going to come up with a list of things that I need in able to do this build. So I click buy parts and then it will show me what I can buy from the traders. I don't want to do it now because to be honest, it's early wipe and I don't have the cash to splash. But you get what I mean. This is such a seriously, seriously useful mechanic to have in the game. And I really want all of you guys to just start employing it and making the most of it so you can make the most of the time that you have to play. For a lot of us, we've got jobs, we've got children, we've got wives, we don't have enough time in the day to sit and spend three hours playing Tetris in our stash. This is such a welcome change that we can just hop straight back into the action. And I really hope that you guys are going to enjoy that too. Now, one more thing that I am going to talk about very briefly is something that I've been struggling with with Tarkov for years. It's that when I put something in a bag, I'm worried that I'm going to lose it or I forget about it, whatever. But for example, if we look in this mechanism, I've got this TV 106 and there's a sword in, in there. There's no other sword in in my stash, but if I want to wear that sword in, all I have to do is click on earpiece and it's there. It comes straight out of that bag and straight there and you don't have to worry about where you last placed it. This is absolutely huge for clearing up a cluttered stash. I mean, don't look too closely at my stash. But you see what I mean here. If you want to, you can just dive deep and just hide things under layers and layers and layers. And then eventually when you do want to get something out, you will have it there right at your fingertips. But anyway, that's it for this short little guide on how the custom presets work in Escape from Tarkov. I really hope that some of you found this useful. Now, for those of you who have watched my videos for a while, you'll know that I love to see who sticks around until the end. So if you're still here, I'd like you to let me know by answering this question down in the comments. Would you rather have no arms or no legs? But anyway, Anyway, that's it from me today. I'm Avrajol. Peace.